Welcome gamers to another One Piece Bounce video. It's been a while since I've uploaded. It has been there on the comments and everything. But before everything, you know, thanks for you know the subs and the support on the recent videos and yeah, all that love over there. So I'm gonna be showing my 2v2 battles, you know. I, I, I wanted to do live commentary, but let's just say the audio was not as good as I'd want it to be. And I don't want to make you guys go through all that. <laughs> so, you just have to enjoy my uh, post commentary, I guess. I mean, this 2v2, this map, uh, it's pretty... It's alright, you know. There's not much spaces to hide. But there's a lot of room for people to just go and hide. And, like, just wait, waste time and stall until they get, you know, 2-0. Or, like, don't want to fight you at all. So, yeah, this has... Even though this match was like we, we wanted to kill all of them, basically, but um, we just <laughs> I, I just forgot that I, they needed to cap and everything, so that was a problem there. I mean, the, the commentary was like much fun, you know, a lot of reactions and all of these things. But next time, you know, I went to the Tuesday, I'll make sure I get it right this, uh, yeah, that time. Then on our first match, we got an easy 2-0 there. And we could have tried to wipe them all out, but yeah, it was like that in the end. Yeah, but uh, when it comes to, you know, Bounce Rush, like my videos, I've been, you know, doing like gameplays or just uh, challenge events mostly. And I noticed I haven't even done a summon video. And most of my summons, I'm doing them like... I haven't like gathered enough gems like in 500 or 700 gems so that's a problem that I'm doing you know multi here multi there and yeah whenever I pull like a really high unit then I'll post but so far EX is just not been for me I haven't been like with them somehow we didn't hit the, the chance there and as you'll see in this game but this um yeah, this Shanks, I'm trying to kill him, but uh, nothing's broken off him. My camp side is missing. Yeah, and then he kills me just like that. But yeah, as I was saying, like, uh, in the future, definitely I'll get my summons. And probably, you know, as this channel goes, it will be better from there on. But yeah, I just hope my ex like, you know, changes around. Maybe with that. I know Filman Shanks about to come back because. I hear like there's gonna be a DVD release uh, for film Red, so definitely. But that that was a bad misplay to teleport uh, against that uh, Zephyr's knockback because yeah. But yeah, eventually when that film Red uh, DVD comes out, they're gonna release that banner, and back back Ben Beckman's gonna come out, you know, the two star Pontifex unit <laughs> that everyone loves. Yeah, he hasn't come out since Return. Like the only like exclusive movie units that haven't come out is Zephyr, the film Red, um, Shanks, and Ben Becky. Those are the only two. Other than that, every unit has been back. Those are yeah, exclusive units from last year, so at least now we won't have to wait for them too long. But Zephyr's been a while actually. They are both, Zephyr and uh, Green Shanks are both good counters to this new Yamato. Because of their states, buff states ignoring uh, the first first bite. That was a clean dodge. That I, I knew that team was there. Because sometimes I look at the map to see where the enemy is, not just rely on my camera movement uh, to show that. Yeah, that is it's still prediction, but you will know like what's in the player's head and what skills and attacks they have to hit you with. So. You know, there's a lot of uh, mind games in this game, of course. And I killed uh, my partner there. That Zoro Revive was, uh, it was pretty stubborn, but even though that uh, kind of skill to hit us, we got him there. But yeah, I mean, 2v2 is, you know, pretty, it's fun. Like, it's really fun. Like, I can just spend an hour, two hours, like, just playing, and I don't feel like you know, I'm I'm raising when I'm playing league. I mean, just I'm sure you all guys all experience this. You play league for 20 minutes or one you know one hour. I mean, you just want to close the app and and, uh, and like call it quick. But yeah, doing two brings back the five in punch right.
from in my opinion i hope you guys agree you know, let me know in the comments if you agree with that but uh, for me it's just uh, it's all you know all, when you're playing with someone you you know your friend you really love or something or even just one person you know that uh, they are capable enough to do something in the game it's not like a completely random person who's a bot auto clicker hacker and all of this random garbage that you get in volunteer league these days uh so uh, we won yeah this game they started with like double rifles so <laughs> they're they are pretty you know uh in that anime spirit i guess but craig is like you know with a counter to an extent so if you you know play i mean if you just you know get your arrows just to land it will be like that easy one shot and then i'll to just one shot it through my revive similar to like how the ash Razor just like one shot you through crackers revive so it's like all of those things you know you need to consider mm -hmm. and all right yamato this yamato got a buff right so they added nullify freeze and frostbite so brook has like one more unit he can't freeze all of a sudden <laughs> so that's kind of fun actually that they just did that doesn't make brook completely bad but you know it's another unit that brook can't heal from that's kind of sad All right, uh, bro. White beard, bro. He's normal. So like from 2019, uh, you know, white beard is the good, regardless of uh, you know <laughs> why, how Bendai has treated him and shafted him, bro. It, it was either my first normal was a mystery there, and I uh, just dying to that skill. Let, but I just let her kill me. Now we can bring in Hakuba, but uh, we should have not bring him. We can bring checks. He's gonna make me like further. He's gonna teleport me. I know. Oh, uh, the the Odin guy one shot him there. I remember this. Uh, watching that, that was pretty funny. Like the like crit came in clutch too. Like in two v two, you're very squishy. <laughs> no matter what unit you are, like some skills that wouldn't be able to one shot you, they can one shot you. And like this green card is one of the best units in two v two. But for some reason in this two I was not able to survive with him the whole game. Like I was in the previous two v two video yeah I had with Ken. But we had some pretty you know pretty games for sure. Uh, and this one and the ones we just had dominion. And this one we lost. I didn't want to include them but I didn't want to include games where like, they're not that much entertaining from our perspective. But, yeah that's something you know you want to consider and of course uh blue shanks is counter it doesn't actually on first hit sometimes you can get hit from uh, something else when you use your counter so it has to it, it takes some time to kick it you know as like all skills do but yeah i mean just 2v2 just farming up until we we finish the rewards that was the gameplay and man, I, I, I really didn't want to do this post commentary. I wanted it to, you know, to feel like, uh, find that first reaction of, you know, getting all that benta and everything like that. But yes, uh, we, so we're on this uh, match. Yeah, getting all that benta in there. It's uh, something that is, you know, pretty fun. So they started like with double jack. Um, it's <laughs> it's crazy actually they wanted to make us like i don't like you know to run dupes like of the same character i like to land with i would like to run like eight different characters you know not just uh you know, like we have those uh characters all together and then we run it because you know it's better for us like to try out different characters and like if you, it's not whale and whale uh, units, so everyone has something that's missing, and then you can you know use it to grind like that. Yeah, and for me, there's a lot of units. Like most of these EXs I don't have, so it was pretty fun you know to use them. And I have gotten like from the time I'm recording this, I have gone to use Hyper Yamato, EX Big Mom, 
is uh, the unit that everyone is farming everything with and enjoying. But Harry Emmett was pretty good, you know? Yeah, I, I see like how, yeah, she still can be toxic. But how could a bro, bro? Stop being buggy. Like your skill 2 sometimes misses, your skill 1. Sometimes you need to click on the target to teleport. It, it needs it needs to take some time to get used to him. It's not easy to use character for sure. Even with the placing I placing I gave him like the eleventh spot. And look at this Oyaji gameplay. Yes. A dodge, you know. That was calculated. <laughs> that was calculated for sure. I wanted to dodge into that uh Roger skill too and then uh, snipe him with the skill one. So but the dodge came in time I guess. And this Yamato, of course. Gonna get me with this, this skill, bro. Yamato, uh, white beer is normal, okay. You get that one to heal. White beer is doing kind of damage, bro. I know Yamato is tank against uh, attackers, but still, man. Let's get, yeah, we're getting those perfect dodges, even with uh, you know, with some leg, we're getting a well, rocket there. Okay, the counter didn't show animation. That happens, like some skills they just hit and they don't show you animation, which is pretty bad. Ah, uh, uh, they are way too slow. Man. I wanted to get this king with my last normal tremor, everything, bro. But he's still the goal. I, I still love him. <laughs> and you see on this match, they have like a big mama king, and well, like that, uh, Sibu just died there. And we could lose, you see. And this is like pretty. I don't know what this king was doing. Actually. Why he? I mean, look at that. They... Everyone can easily interrupt my third hit, bro. And we have this. Oh, they killed me. And yeah, I thought we lost actually. Yeah. <laughs> but oh yeah, I see. We got enough points more than them and i was pretty happy with this w so yeah we can get matches like that that you, you think like you do the team was against you but uh you clutched out in the end and you know won for this map this match it looks pretty good where where mostly using you know cracker and only law i mean once you get into the grind mode, like if you're grinding in this event, you don't want to switch characters too much because when you switch characters, like it, it depending on how good they are in the meta, you can get trash pretty easily if you're not used to it. And the the thing I didn't know, the biscuit skill changes Zoro's color, and I just got one from. I thought it wouldn't change Zoro's color, but I guess it does. Well, I'm not personally hitting him, right? It shouldn't change his color, but uh, anyway, it works out. And then we know Kaido, OP, in this mode. Bro, I mean, you guys are seeing the animations, the, the leg everywhere. It's not just me. And everyone gets perfect dodges. Easy, bro. This in this Luffy, man, man. I mean, this keeps happening every single time. When you are when you are a player like me, and then you see everyone like try to they dodge on you so smoothly, but when you dodge, you know it's from leg, and you didn't even time it properly. I wanted uh, this uh, Shanks partner to get the kill here, yeah? and then uh, even if I died, he was you know. He's showcasing like blue shanks in this mode. Once he just one kill, bro, he becomes a menace, a monster. One shooting everything, like healing like crazy. Even if you one HP, one kill, one counter puts you like at seventy percent or six percent HP. And yeah, people are just dying. And the normals, they just it, it immediately melt down. The character, look at this. This is uh, blue shanks. Actually, my partner said I must like kill him right and well he's done me and i'm like i was hesitant i could have killed him before this but i didn't want to kill him immediately you know using my skill but in the end it worked out 
and there's like one person left and i we i think we decided like just take the flag because we can kill this one in 50 seconds unless it was a defender and i dodged a little bit too early there i should have tried to dodge this skill instead of uh, panic dodging i guess and yeah like i, I just got absolutely hard headed so we have those matches where you know i like start off a bit slow or i'm not you know uh carrying or using the character properly but like i think you know 2v2 is a good practice like if you're struggling to use a character because sometimes you can get a lot of 1v1s like if you use the character you grind the small you get better in using the character and i think it will reflect in league battle because in league battle it's much more than you know 1v1 can like you, it's not about you 1v1 like uh, people and trying to KO them it's like you are trying to you know win from uh, the game with your character so you have to think about all the scenarios and big mom oh by Craig uh he's he uh, his biscuit can be funny at times but of course against units like green shang situation you can just only stall with this uh biscuit thing. the corner strategy and uh, as you can see cracker is really a count to the big mom she got rumbled there that's why her normal things but it didn't show like it was just a frame second you know the, the rumble maybe that's three percent chance to shock and then one shot in that olden there saving the match i mean he, he lost to Hakuba against Odin. He should have touched it, but the Odin just didn't want to die, from what I remember. Okay, this is uh, good. And then, yeah, he one shot at me. The 5,000 fixed damage plus whatever damage he did. And this game, it was like um, two people in the same alliance. So it was pretty sweaty, you could tell from the beginning. And my white beard skill 1 doesn't hit through the river. Bro, it, did you see that guys? I was wondering why why can't I move? I was busy flying up my head and it's making White Beard not move and I got hit by that bug with my head. White Beard sometimes too tall so he can get obstructed by these things. So you see that perfect dodging the, the Griffin Slayer. I knew this is a uh, uh, sweaty alliance there. Yeah. Like in one alliance. But we somehow win because look at the dominating us three easy. And especially that Kaido, bro. He's just spamming skills, uh, running off, and fighting when he has the absolute advantage. Basically. And here, yeah, because it's invincible, they don't, they can't get punished for my counter. And that was not a perfect dodge for some reason. And then look at this, bro. He didn't get hit from there. I died just before the damage. Makes no sense. I mean, to think we can win with this scenario. They have like five and we have two. That's pretty crazy. But as I said, it's all wins. Uh, yeah, but this was like the most uh, sweetest match we had when we were finishing the rewards, I guess. And look at that. We were, I think he was waiting there so um, the Kaido could tell him. Uh, yeah, waiting for my enemy, uh, my team Kaido to teleport. But luckily, yeah, uh, my partner is killing me with green Kaido. And look at the time, and my, my partner kept that flag. And we win by the fault, by timing. That was clutch, bro. We, we survived the whole game and we win with 2 2 zero. So they can't complain that, uh, you know, they, they could have won if. Uh, they had uh, was it? They had some time, but they had no time. They lost pretty easily there. So yeah, on this map, uh, I would like. I think it's like mostly his characters, so there is something to that. And I think yeah, this is the last game. And we have like Supernat here, very good name, I guess. <laughs> if you get uh, the reference, okay. I mean, Perospero literally is just food for you when you're a cracker. Like, you can literally just go there and, like, you want him to kill you. And then he just got one shot. <laughs> I was gonna say a whole monologue about how Cracker uh, beats uh, Perospero like nothing. But 
There's no need. Oh, bro, green shanks. And the perfect dodge, bro. When the connection gets goes hard, it goes hard. And I like it. I like it. And then look, you know why I was hiding in that corner for the biscuit down. Like sometimes you just need to hide inside your biscuit. <laughs> it can annoy the enemy and also it gives you, you know, that sort of ability. Maybe for your ally to come help you while you're distracting the other enemy team. White Beard being the GOAT, one shot the uh, King against uh, Roger Pirates, one shot GOAT. Against the Roger Pan. And yes. I think I'm about to die here. The biscuit spam is not gonna be enough because it's team boost there. Yeah. And, and the, you know, Kaido is good at uh, surviving the whole game. But I mean, what is it doing for me? Like, <laughs> is the iron, yeah, the team boost just the 21 hit damage to so, Damn, right there. Then yeah, we're finishing off with uh, Shanks over here. Okay. And there's that Roger. Wow. Well, lucky, lucky that my Griffin didn't uh, one-shot him. But we still wiped him up with our normals. And this. Okay. That kind of door, perfect dodge does. After he lost that skill too. King is wiping us out. The kind of is not infinity spamming normals, and that was with a perfect dodge. That was sad, bro. Sometimes you can you can be unlucky, even if you get one kill. Lucians. But we're gonna wrap this up with Odin. So, and I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the commentary, you know, in the game, and you can forgive me for for messing up with my, the audio on my side. Yeah, and I'll make sure it's better and it doesn't sound, you know, pretty, like it was so bad. I, I can't, I couldn't go ahead and publish that, you know, on YouTube and everything. Knowing that it's that bad. They're yeah, helping out my partner there from EX Luffy's skill spam. Then we're killing him just in time. So, you know, I'll leave a like, subscribe, do all of the wonderful stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video.